Hello and welcome back to World's World Reviews and more. Uh, I've just done a review on uh, basic Seth Rollins, so it makes sense that the next program I'm doing is going to be the basic Roman Reigns. Like I said in my previous video, I wasn't planning on picking these guys up. I picked up Dean Ambrose, who was my favourite, but then I thought after watching some videos of the Shield that I had to pick them up. I think I would have preferred to have them in Elite. After looking at the Seth Rollins, I wasn't too impressed because one of the legs was particularly quite bent. Um, but uh, they went out when I was buying these figures and when I had the money, so I've got these ones. If I ever see the Elite reasonably cheap, I might pick them up, but for now I'm quite happy, seeing as these two were my least favourite of the Shield, to have the basic figures. So there you go, you can see him. His name down there, picture of him there, logo and on the back, got another picture of him, signature and all the other figures in the line. So let's get him open and have a look. So this is the guy that many people are expecting to be the new face of WWE when uh, Cena eventually packs it in. What's your guys thoughts on that? Do you think he's worthy of it or do you think someone else should? I'm happy for him to be there but I, I, I still, my flag is firmly my, uh, tied to the mast of Dean Ambrose, he's my favourite. Um, but you know, hey, I still like Roman Reigns, I, look, I like Seth Rollins too. That's hence why I picked them up, I don't really pick figures up with people that I'm not fond of. I hate these basic bubble packs, they never come out easy enough. So, we've got him out, and you can see, nice detail here. I know this is probably a little bit of a contentious issue, but his skin seems to be darker on the figure than it does in real life. Whether that's true or not, I'm not sure. Obviously, I've never met him, but just going by the picture, compared to the figure, you know, I'm just saying that's all. Anyway, he's got typical basic um, articulation. His head moves all the way around. He can move his hair, gets a bit stuck. Uh, he's got his basic 360 arms. He's got his wrist joints. His arms move up and down slightly, it's a bit stiff. And then you've got his knee joints, he's got a swivel at the waist, and as you can see, yeah, he's got his knees and he's got his ankles. And again, the leg, this kind of right leg, left as you're looking, is a little bit bent, which concerns me with these figures, to be honest, because they may not stand very well. But overall, it's nice figure, nice detail. Same with Seth Rollins, the vest is flimsy, but I don't think it's removable. There's no kind of seam on the back or anything to get it off, so I'm not even going to try. But it, I suppose it could come off if you really wanted it to. Um, but no, it, you know, nice detail on the tattoo as well, by the way. Don't know where you can pick that up. But that is quite nice. And like I said, there's an elite version of Roman Reigns coming out, another elite version. It's actually got his chest tattoos on and things as well, so if you were a big Roman Reigns fan, maybe that's what you want to pick up instead of this. This is only 9 99 plus when I was working at Smith, I got discount, so <clears throat> it was a real easy decision in the end. But yeah, nice figure. So I so say he's going nicely with my Seth and my Dean, which I'm going to do next in review. Um, I just figured, you know, it's nice to have these guys together. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, keep liking, subscribing, and commenting. Um, hope you're enjoying these videos. I'm enjoying doing them. And um, yeah, just uh, you know, keep hearing your thoughts. That's the most important thing. I like uh, interacting. So I want to hear your thoughts on these figures if you've got them or you, you want to pick them up and see what you think. So uh, until then, guys. You know, um, I'll see you soon. Peace.